All right. Well, welcome everybody to this uh, training session today on barchart.com's Top Stock Picks. My name is Jean Baker. I'm the project director for the Barchart website. And today I'm going to be going through a relatively new uh, feature that we've released on the website. It's something that you can use to find daily trading ideas, new ideas for you to take a look at and to possibly consider uh, as you're doing your analysis of the markets each and every day. Uh, before I get started, a couple housekeeping items. First of all, yes, you will uh, get a recording automatically of this webinar. Uh, it probably is going to take uh, five or six hours for us to release that, but you will get an email with a link to the recording so you can review this again later. We also do keep all of our webinar recordings over here in the free webinars uh, page. Go to the tools menu, go to free webinars, and actually it's not out there yet, but you will see um, the, the webinar recording there later on once you do get the email with the link. All right, that said, uh, the other thing I want to point out is that like everybody else in the country, we are working uh, from our home offices. Uh, Barchart.com's offices are in downtown Chicago, and with the pandemic, everybody is working as best they can from their home offices. I certainly hope this isn't going to happen today, but I've had intermittent internet connection problems. Again, I'm hoping it's not going to happen, but if something does happen and the internet drops, you will get a recording so you'll be able to review this entire session a little bit later on. So let's hope Xfinity comes through with me uh, today and doesn't, doesn't check me out. All right, so today's topic, a bar chart top stock picks. Uh, these are, first of all, I'm going to say that these are excuse me, tools that our Bar Chart Premier members get as part of their subscription. And if you are not a Premier member, we do offer a 30-day free trial. I'm going to show you at the very end of the webinar where to go to sign up for that. Uh, so even though you might not be a Premier member today, I really suggest that you take a free trial after the webinar is over, look at the top stock picks, and see if this is something that you feel can help you in your daily uh, search for new trading opportunities. Okay, if you've, um, if you've signed up for any of our newsletters, you know that there's one called Chart of the Day that's a very popular newsletter of ours. And we've got an analyst, Jim Van Merten, who's been writing this for us for years. Uh, Chart of the Day, you can find that in our news section. There's a whole segment for chart of the day. And while, excuse me, while yesterday's chart on the U.S. oil ETF fund uh, is pretty dismal, some of the other, the other uh, reports that he writes every single day will highlight a stack. Here's Netflix that shows a really, really nice, ni nice price gain. And we get lots of people writing us saying, you know what? The, you know, the chart of the day is great. Uh, Jim gets some really good detail, gives us really good information, but I want to get in over here. I don't want to get in over here where he's saying, okay, this this has reached an all-time high. Well, what we're going to look at today, the top stock picks, could possibly give you some ideas to get in at the bottom uh, bottom portion of a chart. So first of all, I want to start off saying, uh, saying uh, or s talking about our disclaimer. Uh, any decision that you make to buy, sell, or hold, uh, or trade in securities, commodities, other investments, are at your own risk. Uh, we are presenting this information as trading ideas for you to possibly use. We are not telling you that top stock picks are the perfect vehicle to immediately go out and buy or sell or trade uh, any of these stocks. So as we go through this information, please understand that um, these really are trading ideas. You absolutely must apply your own trading strategy 
uh, to these ideas and decide whether or not the investment is, is a good investment for you. All right, top stock picks can be found in the stocks menu. And again, there's my slow internet access, but we'll get there. The stocks menu, there is a section right here, bar chart trade picks. There's a page for today's top pick and one for all top stock picks. And I know we're anxious to look at those, but before we do, I do want to talk a little bit about the concept between top stock picks. If you happen to be in my webinar last week, we talked about bar chart opinion. And bar chart opinion uh, calculates buy, sell, and hold signals for every single symbol that we carry on our website. And it does so using technical analysis. So it takes the common interpretation of 13 different studies. These studies are either moving averages or moving average crossovers, MACDs. And looking at the common interpretation and looking at the price movement on a chart, the opinion will either say this is a buy or a sell or a hold signal. All right, I want to take a look a little bit at Tesla. This is a stock that, you know, if, if you got in way back here and you got out way up here, you're, you're really happy because this thing really uh, did go and move up a lot. You'll see our technical opinion says it's a strong buy. And again, if you weren't in the session last week where I talked about this, uh, you can go to that webinars page, listen to the entire topic. And down here, the analyst rating is a hold. This is based on fundamental data. It is completely different than our bar chart technical opinion. And if I open up the opinion page for Tesla, this is where I will see the common interpretation for the different trading strategies, a short, medium, and a long-term strategy. These happen to all be by at the moment, <clears throat> except for the 20 to 50 MACD, MACD uh, oscillator. So what exactly does that mean? Again, I'm just going to go through this quickly because I covered this in last week's uh, webinar. But if I were to look at a chart of Tesla, and I've got a 50-day moving average, for example, uh, plotted. At some point when the price rises above the moving average, it's generally interpreted as a buy signal. And if the price falls below the moving average, it's generally interpreted as a sell. So here's my 50-day moving average. And let's see if I can find out exactly someplace right around here, it looks like. Uh, yes, yes, right here. On uh, 926 of 2019, the price, the closing price for Tesla at 242.56 crossed above the moving average. And this is where it initiated a buy signal for the 50-day moving average. Well, if you got in right there and you waited until the price fell below the moving average, where, where, it, uh, where it indicated a sell, you would have made a nice little profit. And the whole concept between, between, uh, behind our top stock picks is that we're going to try to find the stocks that are just beginning a new buy signal or possibly a sell signal and using your own trading strategies and other uh, types of analysis that you perform, you may very well be able to find something that starts a new signal and then continues an upward signal. Now this this does require some work, but again, we've got some really great trading ideas for you to take a look at. All right, I'm gonna go back and open up that uh, today's top stock pick. And th this is actually kind of funny because uh, this symbol, Cure, un Unicure, Unicure. Uh, happened to be an example I was going to talk about a little bit later on in the session. Uh, this symbol 
landed on our top stock pick page for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, we tell you a little bit about the company up on top here. Uh, it's kind of um, interesting. A lot of our top stock picks have been in the medical field recently with the, uh, with the pandemic going on. But um, it tells you a little bit about the company at the top, and it tells you that the 200-day uh, moving average was the technical indicator that issued a new buy signal last night. So top stock picks are based on daily data. And if you look at the chart down here, this is the 200-day moving average. Uh, this is actually today's bar, the 21st. Right here on the 20th, last night after market closed, uh, we run a series of different analysis functions. And this one signaled new buy, but it also, uh, it also felt falls on our top stock picks for a number of other reasons, which I'm going to go into. So we're showing you what happened. Uh, there's a new buy here. The entry price was 57.19, and it's based on the 200-day moving average. A little bit below the chart. It also gives you some information about where the current price is in regards to the 52-week low and high and the five-year low and high. Up at the top, um, we have a little widget that talks about the historical signal performance. The signal in this case is the 200-day moving average. That's the trading signal that um, issued the buy. And if we look at the past hypothetical performance of this trading signal over a five-year period, uh, and I will show you this later on, um, it calculates out to a four, over a 400% signal gain over five years compared to a market gain on this symbol of 118%. So one of the things that the top stock is going to do is it's going to look for um, symbols where this historical signal performance is outperforming the market, the, the five-year market gain. A little bit further below, we also show you some fundamental data about this. You might look at uh, the daily top stock pick and say to yourself, well, you know, I, I don't know anything about this company. You know, maybe the market cap isn't really the kind of stock that I, I usually invest in. You know, the annual sales, annual income might be something that you're really not interested in pursuing. It's in the medical, biomedical field. And use this information again to make your own decisions on, on whether or not you want to further look at the top stock pick. Okay, I'm going to talk then a little bit about um, the criteria that we use to find the top stock pick. First of all, the symbol has to have issued a new buy or sell trading signal for any of the um, the 13, let me go back to Tesla over here, any of the 13 indicators or strategies that we use to make up the bar chart opinion. All right, so it has to have a new buy or sell trading signal as of the close of business last night. The five-year signal gain has to beat the five-year market gain. And we looked a little bit over here, the signal gain, the 200-day moving average. If I look at all the buy signals generated over the last five years, it's a 400% gain versus a 118% market gain. We also apply a historical volatility filter. Uh, the 20-day historical volatility on the symbol we look for something between 10 and 100 percent. All right, why do we do that? Um, well, there's there's a couple of reasons. The historic volatility usually uh, will help filter out and eliminate those stocks that have short-term price swings. 
we don't want to find a, a um, top stock pick and present it where the price over the last you know couple of days has been going up and down. Um, that that's really not showing you a true strong trend of the trading signal. So we use the um, the historic volatility to filter those out. The win percent for the trading signal has to be greater than 30%. All right, so I'm going to go over to the to all top stock picks page and let's talk a little bit about what that means. Here's the report for today. And these are all the, the symbols that initiated a new buy signal for these different trading strategies uh, at the close of business last night. Here's the win percent, and here's our top stock pick. The win percent is the difference, I'm sorry, the win percent is, if, if I look historically at the 200 day moving average buy signal for this symbol, 33% of the time, just following that, that, that signal, it would result in a hypothetical winning trade of 33%. Again, I'm going to show you the details of this in just a moment. Let's finish up with the, uh, the other criteria. Last price has to be greater than $2, and the stock has to have traded at least 201 days. So you're not going to find any IPOs or um, anything that's relatively new uh, trading out there. It, and it's really, it's almost kind of sad with, with the current market. You know, we've got a very short list here. Uh, other in months prior, you might have pages and pages of different symbols to look through. But this is what we came up with today. It, we also show you whether or not there are options available on these symbols. We've had people interested in maybe opening up a, an option trade uh, to take advantage of some of the ideas that you see here. All right, um, let's take a look a little bit about uh, what this 200 day moving average and the buy and the win percent and the market gain and everything like that means. Um, looking at, if I click that view details, looking at this chart, it shows me, let me go a little bit longer term. So here's that 200 day moving average. Over here, you'll see where the, um, the symbol closed below the 200 day moving average. So this initiated a sell signal right here. Here's a buy signal. Uh, it went up and down a little bit. Um, at some point, let's see, here was a sell signal and there was a buy signal. But when, when we take a look at the trading strategies, bar chart does track hypothetical trades for each and every symbol uh, that's run through the bar chart opinion. I'm on uh, Unicure's quote overview page, and we looked at bar chart opinion before, but right now I'm going to look at the trading strategies page. This shows hypothetical performance for each of the 13 indicators that are used in the bar chart opinion calculation. Uh, we were looking at the 200 day moving average. That's the one that signaled the new trade, the new buy trade last night. And looking down the page, it will tell you the total number of trades that bar chart has tracked. And again, these are hypothetical trades. Shows you the average days that we stayed in the trade and the total hypothetical profit that would have been realized if a real trade had been made. All right, I'm going to open up the 200 day moving average. We've got three tabs. We can look at all trades. We can look at just the buys that the 200 day moving average signal um, indicated, or we can look at the, just the cells. I'm going to focus in on the buys because here's the one, here's the top trade alert uh, that happened last night. 
And unfortunately, with today's uh, market action, this is already signaled a, a sell signal for the day. It's really a little bit earlier when I was prepping for the webinar, this was still open. It had not changed the signal on the chart. Um, but you will see that there are other hypothetical trades that resulted in a profit. If you were to follow the buy and the sell signal of this trading strategy. Um, let's take a look at this one down here. On January 30th last year, this trading strategy issued a buy signal. And if I open up the chart, it will show me back at that time, here's January 30th of 2019, where the buy signal was issued. And on September 5th, 218 days later, it issued a sell signal. I was talking about the hypothetical profit. What bar chart does is when a new signal is issued, we track a hundred lot hypothetical trade for the signal and we calculate the profit, max profit and loss for each of these. All right, back on the top stock picks page. I can view every single one of these uh, that that came through last night as a new buy signal. And if I open up the view details, it's almost like flip charts. It lets me go through and um, look at each one of these to take a look at the different stocks. You know, it tells me what this d does. Again, it's another biopharmaceutical company. Here's the next one that came on, another pharmaceutical. And at any point along the way, if you see something that's of interest to you, you can always add this to your watch list or portfolio by using the links column over here at the right. Uh, that way you can go back and take a look at the, uh, the, the symbol, apply your own trading strategy, and uh, maybe take, you know, take, take some time to analyze it and decide whether or not you want to go ahead and move with the trade. You may also use flip charts. Flip charts, lets you, th th this lets you apply your own template. So, you know, these came from different trading strategies, but if I want to look at um, Jim Van Merton, who, who writes the chart of the day, this is the template that he likes to use. So if I want to apply a completely different set of trading strategies and look at these symbols, I can do so. From the flip chart, I can also add a symbol to the watch list. Okay, um, this page is showing me the buys for uh, today's date. And it's showing me things where the win percent is uh, greater than 30%. It also is showing me symbols whose five-year signal gain has beat the five-year market gain. And here's the difference column to show that. You can toggle the page so that if you want to see additional trading ideas, you can see uh, more things. This is where the signal gain uh, did not beat the market gain. But again, it might be you know that you you might find an opportunity looking at the uh, the chart, applying your own type of trading strategy, looking for things where the market cap or the sales or the income really are showing you things that you're interested in investing in. You may also look at the sell report. I'm going to take off uh, where the market gain is uh, not less than the signal gain. 
Cells, cell signals also could present possible trading opportunities. If I look at the details, again, in the, here's, here's a MACD crossover. So when the, when the shorter term crosses below the, long, the longer term MACD right here, that issues a cell signal if, if I look at the common interpretation of this trading strategy. The price is below there. So, you know, somebody maybe looking for options for an options trade might look to get in on uh, a, a sell signal, a new, new top stock sell signal. I'm going to briefly check to see if there are questions on here before I go through and... Um, and look for, uh, actually show you some recent examples. Um, somebody is asking, is this yesterday's top stocks? Well, the opinions, even though they're, they're calculated every 20 minutes throughout the trading day, uh, we will only show you on the top stock picks the signals that were generated as of the end of day from yesterday's trading. Uh, if you, again, if you attended the opinion webinar last week, you'll notice that a lot of these um, reports you could find in this new recommendations report that we have, the new stock recommendations. Here's the same 13 indicators. These are stocks that where the indicator is showing a new buy, hold, or sell signal for the trading day. I happen to be looking at an intraday report. So these are ones that are making new signals during the day. If I looked at the daily report here and looked down at the 200-day moving average, I'm going to find right here. Here's Cure, the symbol that was the top, top stock pick. It was on the daily report as of yesterday. Now, if I look at an intraday report, I'm not going to find it there because it made the buy signal last night. So the, the top stock picks, they are not updated during the day. This is updated once after markets close, and um, as you'll see, you can you can check to receive an end of day email, uh, and we will send you an email of either all of the new top stock picks or of just the daily top stock pick. You can select that here. Uh, somebody asked, can I go over the win percent again? Win percent right here. So this is the historical percentage of closed winning trades for the signal and the action. A combination of the 200-day moving average, the buy signal for cure. Let's just take a look. I'm just I'm just going to take a look at another one here. Uh, I'm going to go and open up. Well, let's first of all look. The win percent on this one is 46% for the 20 to 50 day MACD. So I'm going to go to the trading strategy. And I'm going to look at the 20 to 50 day MACD oscillator. And the win percent, okay, bar charts trading strategies, which we, we run this very complex algorithm every night and every symbol. Whenever one of these indicators or signals issues a new buy or sell signal, Hypothetically, we open a 100-lot trade. 
So right here, we are on January 1st, we opened a 100-lot trade at $4.68. Uh, when it issues a new sell signal at the end of the day, we close that hypothetical trade and calculate the profit. The win percent then is the, if, if we look at the total number of trades that were generated over a five-year period, how many of these trades resulted in a win, a, a winning trade, a trade that was profitable? All right, I am going to, whoops, go back to um, the all top stock picks. Uh, we looked at view details, so I can scroll through every single one of these, showing the information about the company, the 52 and five year highs and lows, and look for possible opportunities of things I want to look at a little bit closer through that view details link. There's also a chart icon next to each of these. And if I opened up the chart icon, it's going to show me just the chart for further analysis. Uh, we looked at flip charts. You may also download this so you can take this offline, look at these things a little bit later on. Uh, but what I also want to show you is that we can go and look at historical reports. And I want to take a few moments and go through and look at a couple historical reports for you. Uh, I've got one over here from uh, February 3rd of this year. Cure came up uh, on this day's report a couple times, but the one that I want to look at is right down here, uh, AKAM. It triggered a new buy signal for the 50 to 100 day MACD oscillator. Entry price uh, it shows the five year signal gain, five year market gain. And this one had a you know, two thirds of the time it resulted, this trading strategy for this symbol resulted um, in a winning trade two thirds of the time, 66% of the time. So, what I want to look at is uh, this chart. Okay, back on February 3rd, the 50 to 100 day issued a new buy signal. So here's February 3rd. Here's the, I, I've already put on the 50 to 100 day uh, MACD crossover. And right there, that signal issued a new buy because the shorter term moving average crossed above the longer term. So I would have entered or bar chart entered a hypothetical trade right there for the signal. Um, whoops, on uh, $93.68. Okay, right there, right about there. Yeah, I can't quite get my cursor to get there. So this one, if you look at the trading signal, it hasn't issued a sell on this yet. Yeah, the price has fallen below, but this trading signal has not issued a sell signal. And if I look at uh, the trading strategies for AKAM, the 50 to 100 day MACD, And I'll just keep it here on the All Trades tab. Here is where this trading strategy issued a new buy signal. And today, OTE stands for Open Trade Equities. This thing is still open. So I've, I've been in the trade 78 days at an $897 profit. Okay, so if, if I were to exit the trade right now, my profit is on a 100 lot trade, 897, my hypothetical profit. Let's talk about max profit for a bit. This looks, that's a nicer number than the profit. Well, if you take a look at the chart, you could have 
theoretically gotten out of the trade up here and made a better profit. So looking at the trading strategies, that's what the max profit is talking about. The drawdown is showing you the hypothetical loss. Let's go back to the chart right here. So the signal is still showing a buy signal here, but even though the price went down here, that if I would have exited the trade here, I would have exited at my at my max loss. All right, I'm going to take a look at another chart that I've got here. Going to look at Cure's trading strategies page. This is the closest to uh, what bar chart has in ways of back testing these different trading strategies. Uh, you'll you'll notice, I mean, some of these issue a uh, or, or result in a profit. Some of them don't, and many times, you know, a trade uh, a, si a trading signal will issue a buy only to flip and issue a sell one or two days later, and um, you may not always see a profit. But if, you know, back to my chart of the day example, if you could find a trade, a possible trade, just at the very start of where an indicator said uh, that this was going into a buy, then you might really be able to capitalize on um, some, some profit. So back looking at the symbol that happened to be today's um, top stock pick. If I'm going to look at the 20 to 50 day moving average. Bar charts tracked a total of 25 trades for this symbol, for this strategy. And I'm going to step you through a couple things uh, as we look at the chart. Back on November 6th of 2019, this symbol appeared on our top stock picks page for the 20 to 50 day uh, MACD. Right here, the shorter term went above the longer term and it issued a buy signal right here. So bar chart put in a hypothetical 100 lot trade uh, at an at a uh, open price of is this the sixth? Yes, I'm sorry, right here at 50.73, and on February 4th, 90 days later, this trading signal issued a sell signal. And that resulted in a hypothetical profit of, of over $1,000. So here's where this, the trading strategy issued a buy. Here's where it issued a sell. That was my exit point. This was my entry point. So here's where my hypothetical profit could have been. You'll see the max profit, 23.89. Again, if I would have gotten out up here, I would have maxed out on my profit. I hope this is this is coming together, and you'll you'll see that you know you can actually go back on charts, and it, if you have certain symbols that you already are following on a watch list, you can go and you look you can look at the trading strategies page for whatever indicator strategy feels most comfortable to you. Some people are short term traders, some long-term traders. So you're going to find something in here that uh, could possibly match your trading criteria and, and the comfort that you have in going in and looking for new stock opportunities to trade. I wanted to also show you these also work for uh, sell signals. AGN, there's actually three trades that occurred on AGN. Um, the first one happened to show up on the uh, top stock pick report for the fifth. 
So let me change this to February 5th. And there's, there was quite a list to look at here, but if I, uh, where's AGN? Right there. The 20 day moving average issued a buy signal. This is what it looked like back on February 5th, right here. So back on February 5th, I actually flagged this one in a watch list because I knew I was prepping for uh, a webinar like this. And I happened to find something that actually resulted in a number of profitable hypothetical trades. So right here, the price, the closing price went above the 20 day moving average. This was the first trade. Right here, it, the, the 20 day moving average initiated a buy signal. Right here, it, it initiated a sell signal. So that's where the hypothetical trade would have exited. Well, this also happened to appear on the sell report for February 25th. Let me go over here. And let's follow through and track it. It, it initiated a buy for a 20 day moving average on the 5th. Let's look at the 20 day moving average. Okay, right here, it, in, it initiated a sell signal 20 days later at a, at, it's, it's a small, modest profit. But then let's look at what happened actually th this very same day. On the 25th, the 20 day moving average initiated a sell signal, went for 37 days before it switched over to a buy. And if you were to have gotten in on a hypothetical trade, uh, a, a short trade, you had an additional $1,600 in profit. Let's look at that here. So this would have resulted in profit. This is where it went from a sell to a buy. And right now, uh, the 20 day moving average for this symbol is showing uh, a buy. It, it's still in a buy pattern. And this is what we call open trade equity. I, I, I've still got profit going and the trade is still open. Uh, which I'm showing up here. I'm going to take a moment. Let's see if I can cover some uh, questions that people may have been asking here. I know that I'm covering an awful lot of information. Somebody's asking me, how reliable is the win percent and the indicator by itself? Well, like in, in all things, I mean, there's no guarantee no guarantee in whether or not uh, a trade will be profitable. That's where you need to exercise your own due diligence. You really do need to take a look at these. You know, I, I mentioned that some, some of these trades, like right here, it lasted for one day and this hypothetical trade resulted in a loss. So there are, there should be other factors that you apply to any kind of analysis of your stocks before executing a trade. You know, some people, like I mentioned, some people will only look to invest in things uh, with a market cap over a certain amount or with, with a profit percent, you know, again, over a certain limit. So there's no guarantee that uh, the win percent in the indicator by itself is, is going to be, um, a guarantee for a winning trade. Can I run my watch list against all bar chart strategies to look for new ideas? Great question. Um, the Top Stock Picks page, we, our development team was working to get this up and running for today's webinar, but unfortunately we did not make it. I showed you how you can do flip charts. I showed you how you can do download. We will soon also allow you the ability to screen on these 
symbols. Automatically bring them into the stock screener and look for or apply additional filters like fundamental filters or additional ratios to this list to narrow down the candidates. What I can suggest that you do, if you've added these things to a watch list, you can always screen on your watch list and I'm going to show you how you can screen for uh, trading ideas using these 13 trading strategies I just talked about. So I'm on my watch list. I've got a whole bunch of different things in here. And if I click the screen button, it's going to bring me into the stock screener. And it automatically pulls in every symbol that was on the watch list uh, that I selected for screening. So from here, you can start applying any kind of additional criteria to the screener. But what I want to show you in particular is um, the opinion indicators section. We were just looking at these different trading strategies. Well, here they are. There's the short term, the medium term, and the long term trading strategies. And if you choose this specific filter. This will look for symbols on the watch list that I've already got. These are stocks I'm already watching. And this specific um, screener filter looks for anything that's made a new 50-day signal during the current trading day session. Before I was talking about the top stock picks is end of day data. This will show you anything that made a new 50-day buy signal on the stocks that I'm watching. I, okay, I found two things. If I look at flip charts, I can uh, analyze them further in that, in that method. So that's one way that you can look for things that make new trading signals, whether they're buy or sell. And again, you can uh, select from short, medium, and long-term signals. These are recalculated every 20 minutes throughout the trading day, as well as all of the different opinions. Let me open up bar chart opinion. And you'll see right here, this was the 50-day moving average issued a new buy signal today. Uh, as far as other ways to find promising trading ideas, uh, besides top stock picks, these reports I covered last week in the opinions webinar, but the new recommendations page also shows you things that are making new buy, hold, or sell signals during the current trading day. Now, this is based on intraday delayed data from the stock exchanges. Uh, this is not real-time data. It, it really is used to start looking for new opportunities, start looking for new trading ideas. And there's one final thing that I want to point out. If you already are following a certain symbol. I'm going to go back to the, uh, the symbol cure that we use today. There is a link on the side here. We looked at opinion, we looked at trading strategies, but there's also one called top trade alerts. This will show you the last 10 trade alerts for the symbol along with the different strategy. So today, or last night, it issued a new buy based on the 200-day moving average, and that's, that's what we're seeing here. Uh, if I want to look back on the third, here's the new buy on the 150-day uh, moving average, and on. So you can focus your attention on things that you already either have in your portfolio or or, or are already watching and uh, find new ideas in that manner. 
I did tell you uh, that we offer a free 30-day trial uh, for Bar Chart Premier. All of these things that I've been talking about today are part of a Premier membership. If you are not a member and you come to our website, you'll see this Try Premier for Free button, and we mean it. It's free. Uh, you can test drive it for 30 days. And uh, if, if you are not a Premier member, please please try us out. Uh, we'll show you some really cool ideas for finding interesting stocks that you might want to trade. With that, uh, I'm going to once again check to see if there are any outstanding questions. Somebody says, is that yesterday's top stock? Uh, remember, these are generated last night as of the end of day last night. So yes, the, the top stock picks are as of yesterday's close. Are all of the bar chart top stock picks only on Premier subscriptions? Yes, they are. Uh, now you can look at bar chart opinion. You can look at uh, certain parts of the trading strategies and symbols, but to look at the top trade alerts for a specific symbol or uh, for the top stock pick page over here, you do need to be logged in as a Premier member. Can you look at all stop uh, at all top picks for the last ninety days for a particular indicator? Well. Remember, these indicators are particular to not just the signal, but also the action and the symbol itself. So I'm going to, I, I can't really look at the performance of the 20 to 100 day MACD oscillator against the entire universe of stocks, but I can look at its performance against Etsy. Um, it, it wouldn't give me that much valuable information to look at how this did against the entire universe since Etsy's prices are what drives the signal or the action, the buy the sell action for a specific trading strategy for a signal, uh, the MACD or the moving average. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up. If you do have any additional questions, we have a wonderful support group and uh, I encourage you to email them with your questions. Just remember that during the uh, that we're we're kind of in a crazy time right now with everything shut down. We are uh, supporting all of our users from our home offices. So please be patient. We will get back to you with an answer to your question if you email us at uh, support at barchart.com. Well, thank you again, everybody, for your attention, and I hope that you get some good ideas to start looking at profitable stocks for uh, trading opportunities. Thanks again, and see you next time. Bye.